This video shows why negative air pressure differential containments don't really clean the air. Smoke devices are used in clean rooms to see where particles floating with diffusion travel. The IICRC S520 standard for mold remediation and various guidelines from New York City to the US EPA suggest this practice should be used or may be the most common method used. Many believe the pressure differential creates a vacuum expanding the capture zone of the negative air machine farther than the use of HEPA filtered air scrubbers. Negative air pressure was recorded in excess of 0 0.02 inches of water column. We recorded negative air pressure differentials measuring as high as 0 0.15 inches of water column. This would pull plastic held with tape from walls. This containment is 1,440 cubic feet. Six air changes per hour, as suggested by dry ease, would yield a need for at least 144 cubic feet per minute. An AeroClean rated at 675 cubic feet per minute at the highest setting was used. This is more powerful than a dry ease Defend Air HEPA 500 commonly used. Irregular shaped particles need a minimum airspeed for predictable travel to HEPA filtration devices. This video shows the negative air machine has a very small capture zone.